Did you know that tyrants have been observed picking and ripe green plantains and storing them to ripen, and then coming back a few days later to eat the softened pulp? I'm your host, Romy Casanino, and I'm a conservation scientist, writer, and photographer. Every episode, we'll be introducing you to new animals caught on camera traps around the world. And we are getting some footage from Mongo Bay. These are some of the extents we take to get our SD card. Don't forget to subscribe to Mongave to get notifications about our latest videos. Tyrus are beautiful animals that are part of the weasel family. Their scientific name is Ada Barabara. The word Ada comes from the indigenous name of the animal in Peru and Bolivia, while Barbara means strange or foreign. Tyrus are found from Mexico to northern Argentina, including the island of Trinidad. Even though they live in tropical and subtropical forests, tyrants can live near humans, so they can cross grasslands to move between forest patches and also inhabit croplands. Tyrants are about the size of a medium-sized dog. Males are larger and slightly more muscular than females. They have a long and slender body with short dark brown to black fur. Their heads are robust and paler, and their chests have a yellowish spot. Researchers use this throat patch to identify individual tyrus. These mastolids are both terrestrial and arboreal. When walking on the ground, they usually do bouncing movements with the back arched. On the trees, they use their long and bushy tail for balance. They are also perfectly adapted to climb trees. Their claws are short, curved, and strong. Due to their dual lifestyle, they can either sleep in hollow trees or burrows in the ground. Tyrus are diurnal animals, although occasionally active during the night. Because tyrus have relatively poor eyesight, they locate their prey by scent, instead of stalking or ambushing their prey. To help with this, they have stiff sensory hairs around the pads on their feet. Tyrus are opportunistic omnivorous animals. This means that even though they prefer small mammals, like the spiny rat, they will eat whatever is available, like for example, fruit, invertebrates, and reptiles. They will also climb trees to get honey. Tyrus are solitary animals, however, sometimes they are seen traveling in pairs or small groups of three to four individuals. Tyrus give birth to one to three young. When they are born, babies are blind and have closed ears, but are already covered in a full coat of black fur. The mother takes care of her young, alone, and at around three months, she starts bringing them slow or wounded prey. That way, the little ones can practice their hunting skills. At around six months old, the young are fully grown, and by 10 months, they leave their mother to establish their own territory, which sometimes can be as big as 24 square kilometers. Tyrus are listed as least concerned by the IUCN, but have a declining population. They are threatened by loss of tropical habitat, mainly due to agricultural expansion. They're also hunted for the pet trade. In the next episode, we'll be meeting the biggest wildcat in the Western Hemisphere. Tell us in the comments if you know what animal it is. See you next time.